I'm Jenna Deary in Encino, California at the Jackson Family Compound to bring you the This Is It, a CBS 8 Jackson Family exclusive. Hey, those results include the campaign's work towards the city's new low crime rate. The driving conditions are already becoming very hazardous at this hour, especially in certain areas like an overpass behind me. Have authorities tightened security around the state house? Well, you know, Jeff, it would appear that way. We're seeing state capitol police here as well as Montgomery police on bikes, on motorcycles, patrol cars, really surrounding this area. So any experienced northerner knows you use salt on roads when it snows. You use sand like this on roads when it's icy. And I'm sure you can tell by this scene right here behind me, crews are prepared. The new 2011 Hyundai Sonata. Take a look inside. It just showed up on the showroom here at Capitol Hyundai. One adult, six children, the youngest two years old, the oldest 16. They do have a place to stay tonight. We are here on the scene. We're the only TV station alive to give you a live report here on the scene, and we'll be gathering information while we're out here. So this is how legal bingo is played in Montgomery County. It is electronic, but the player has to wait for a caller to call a number. When the number is called, they punch that number in, hit enter, and wait for a bingo. After winning the hit CBS show Survivor, the Alabama native simply known as JT is in Montgomery tonight enjoying the sounds from Jubilee City Fest. Montgomery County School Board members are calling their first site visit for one of the candidates for superintendent a success. Well, the temperatures reach the 90s today, but will our night be a little bit more pleasant? CBS 8 First Alert meteorologist Matt Tanner joins us now. Matt, are we going to cool off at all tonight? King and Gilly both admit they're tied through an event at Gilly's home. King claims it has had no influence on his legal obligations, while Gilly says the party was to build a political bond. Developer Ronnie Gilly is disappointed his project, Country Crossing, is closed. It was a victim to the governor's task force on illegal gambling. He's also disappointed Attorney General Troy King hasn't stepped in to help. All the innuendo and propaganda that was circulated uh, two years ago, uh, I'm assuming that's why he's not involved. The propaganda, he says, is the party listed on this invitation CBS 8 News has obtained, featuring Attorney General Troy King as a special guest. Gilly says the party was to promote an economic development plan in Coffee County, unrelated to bingo. He says King was among other elected officials and the governor's staff. He had more uh, political clout than anyone else at our party. The plan eventually turned into Country Crossing in Houston County. When it did, King issued an opinion eight months after the party that stated Gilly could be compensated from its bingo revenue based on a constitutional amendment. But That's King right. claims he is against gambling. I think Ronnie Gilly knows my position on gambling. My position on gambling is if we have a vote, I'm going to vote no. Gilly says his job is to make political contacts. We are in the friend-making business. We want to create an aura of, of friendship with our legislators, with our governor, with the attorney general. But King says he has no contact with Gilly. I know Ronnie Gilly. I would say we're not friends. I don't talk to him often. And King is currently under federal investigation. The Birmingham News reports the investigation includes King's relationships with gambling interests, as well as allegations he has selectively prosecuted some electronic bingo operators. For now in Montgomery, Jenna Deary, CBS 8 News. Now back to you. When you turn on the faucet, what happens? There it is. Don't let, don't let the spray get you. Homeowner Greg Fanning may be covering his frustration with humor, but he'll tell you experiencing four days without running water is no laughing matter. And this goes on every year. He's had to go down the road about a mile to Jimmy Dick's house. They, they come and fill up the bucket. To get the water he needs to get by. This bucket is used for what? Well, this will be heated to wash the dishes later. We asked Macon County Water Authority Board member Socrates Harper why it has taken so long to find the cause of the leak that's causing no water to run to parts of Shorter. It may be in a swamp area that we haven't been able to get to. But about 30 minutes later, we got the call. The problem has been found. We're told it was by process of elimination they found the problem. You can see this big puddle right here. It's a leak coming from a pike right now. Workers are trying to poke down there to see just how far it goes down, and we're told it could take hours to fix this problem. Just be patient with us, and as soon as possible, we'll have it done. But Fanning yes. says he's not convinced the problem will be permanently fixed. I may just get smart enough and put a deep well in myself, 
and maybe see if I can get the county to pay for it since it's not providing me with the service I'm paying every month for. It became a contest of who could shout louder. Shame on you! The people have with face-to-face -face confrontations. Mobile resident and supporter of Governor Bob Riley, Don Bond, says he just couldn't hold back. I'm, uh, I'm kind of tired of being run over like I wasn't even there. And uh, so I thought it might be a good idea to let at least somebody know that they had just gone too far. Tensions rose when opponents of Governor Riley crashed a rally at the State House organized for his supporters, who are against the gambling bill. Well, I think it's an excellent opportunity for them to hear what the opposition has to say. I think everybody has their right to their opinion and um, whatever their beliefs are, go for it. Um, these are ours, those are theirs. Riley's appearance had to be delayed at the rally because crowds were so rowdy. We won't go! We won't go! We won't go! When he did show up, even the governor got into a shouting match with the crowd. We are above the law, not here, not in Alabama, not in America. It's safe to say at the end of the day, both sides of the issue were fighting for their opinions to be heard. We are about jobs. If you're going to criticize something, bring something to the table. We're willing to stand wherever for what's right that we feel in Alabama. And the law said that it's illegal, so we stand with the governor.